Hello my witches, doing a little bit of an altar tour for you today because I've just reset my altar for Yule. So this corner has um, the overspill from my Kaliak altar. I'm just getting too many things on my Kaliak altar now. Um, so she has spilled over onto my main altar, which is quite nice. So you will have seen most of these items before, so I won't go into them. Various different bits and bobs or either made by me for her or found objects and things for her. Shells, stones, hagstones, ammonites, little glass, crystal skull, blackthorns, candle to her, a whole bunch of feathers. This is a bunch of flowers that's almost dead, but was given to me by my mother uh, last weekend. My singing bowl, my cobra, little tea light, Himalayan salt tea light. This is my card for today, Merriment, which is quite nice, um, which comes from the Yule uh, Seasons of the Witch Oracle deck. Little selenite wand with some herbs there. The back here you'll see I've got this card of the year which is strength. There's a little uh, wreath, a little mistletoe uh, metal wreath. Some stones. This is actually a Hebrew blessing stone from a close friend. And my little pentacle bowl that I put my incense in when I'm using a charcoal block. My bell. Some other little items, big crystal generator, some stress oil, a stone I found and a quartz crystal and this little embroidery of belladonna. Then up here I have just finished making this little mini altar decoration thing here for Yule. Um, you will have seen the one that I did for the Kaliak and I have decided that perhaps it would be nice to do one for each season or each celebration or Sabbath uh, of the year. I, unlike the traditional, I see Yule as the beginning of the year. For me, it's the, the start of a new year. Samhain feels to me like the end of a year, um, despite it being the witch's new year. There's Merlin. Hello, Merlin. Um, so anyway, it feel, feels like the beginning of a new year. And I think for this year of celebrations, I would like to create one of these for each of the Sabbaths if I have time. Um, hopefully I do. It didn't take too long. It was a couple of hours work. And it's got a little pocket in there that I can put little Yule wishes and things. And then we have a little uh, incense burner that I use for my... Polo Santo sticks, other little Yule candle, my little personal sigil and some more stones. And at the back there you've got the Wheel of the Year that I created. That used to hang on the wall behind my altar when it was against the wall. Uh, but now it, uh, it just I've just tucked it in the back of my altar here. My... Um, dish that I burn my incense sticks in. I've got some Satya Tree of Life incense burning at the moment. Candle. My little brass cobra that holds my, well, I say crystal ball, glass crystal ball. Cute little Yule goat. He came in last year's Muses of Mystery Sabbath box. Then we have this adorable little tea light holder which I will just show you because it's gorgeous it's handmade star moon and another star so cute uh, I found that at the op shop little alchemical skull candle holder that I made out of resin this is probably one of my most favorite items that I own little cauldron moon phase tea mug that was gifted to me by the lovely friends of mine at Trelawney's Tea Caravan. Little Yule Log tea light holder, pine cone, tiny wee little potion bottle back there with a parrot feather in it. 
and that little glass dish holds some moon water for blessings and my miniature mirror of Erised sitting there. So that's that's it. It's a fairly simple altar for this season. Sometimes my altars have more on them, but this one's a little bit plainer. And there you have it. It's a rather wet and gloomy day outside. So I hope wherever you are in the world, you are enjoying your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye my witches.